Let's move on to image to image translation. This is pix to pix paper. The video is online. And here you are going the reverse route of segmentation. In part one of the course, we have an image as an input, and then we are doing per pixel classification. Now you are going the backward route. Given the labels, start generating images. And as you can see, this has applications. You sketch a bag, and then the corresponding bag is going to come out for designers. You have a black and white image, you're colorizing it. Or you have some labels, and then you want to generate the corresponding facade. If you are an architect, if you are doing self driving car, you are going to be translating images from a scene in winter to a scene perhaps in summer and dark and back and forth. This is going to give you more data. You can use it as a data augmentation technique for training the vision systems of your self driving cars. But in terms of the methodology, we have all the pieces of the puzzle that we need. You have an image that you're conditioning on. In this case, it could be the semantic map. You take that, push it through your generator, it's gonna generate an image. And then uh, you want to say that this image is fake while conditioning on the thing that you are conditioning your generator on. In this case, X is a semantic map. G is gonna be, G of X is gonna be this image. This should be classified as a fake. This one should be classified as real. And there are some studies in the paper that conditioning the discriminator on the uh, semantic map is important. So not only you need to condition G, you need to condition D as well. And then you can look at the applications. And if you heard of deep fake, this is one of the components of deep fake. This doesn't look that good, but if you look at uh, the videos, the images being generated these days, they are really high quality. It's really hard, hard to tell the difference between a fake or real image. There is actually a paper telling us that if you look at the eyes, you can identify these fake uh, videos, fake images. We don't have time to cover that, but it's actually good to know. Any questions about image to image translation? This is similar to text to text translation, and we had it when we were doing translation from French to English or the other way around. But now you're operating in the continuous space. Okay, perfect.